Today we're going to be taking a basic look at YAML or YML. This is only going to be a very basic tutorial. So I'm only going to be covering the basics because I think that's all you need to get started. The first thing I want to talk about is differences between YAML and other languages like XML and JSON. So the main difference here is the amount of syntax where XML has a lot of unnecessary syntax and JSON also has quite a bit of unnecessary syntax. YML really does not. YML does however have some hidden syntax which is spacing. So spacing is very important in YML. Key value pairs in YAML is displayed like this. So you have the key and then a colon and then a space and then the value. Now you can see that vegetable lasagna is wrapped in quotes. The reason why is because it has a space. You only have to wrap a value in quotes if it has a special character in there. Space is not considered a special character, so you wouldn't have to wrap this in quotes. I just like the way it looks. The next thing I want to show you is arrays slash lists. They're the same thing. So the way you make these is that you have key, which would be drinks in this case, colon and a hyphen. Uh, you can't see it on this image, but there's two spaces, then the hyphen, then a space, and then the value. Now directories and maps are pretty similar to arrays. However, it is using key value pairs instead of using just a value. So you can see here it's burger, calorie, value, price, value. And if you mixed up the order, so let's say the price came before the calories, it wouldn't matter. It would still deconstruct it the same way. Where here, they would switch around the order. And that would mean that water would come before smoothie. And if this was some kind of value that had to be in a certain order, then this would mess up your code. Here it wouldn't really matter because it's just smoothie and water. It doesn't matter if, if water comes before smoothie. However, here, if let's say you had 215, well, if you switch around 215, well, that would suddenly mean that the calories was 15 and the price was 200. So in this case here, it makes sense to name the values. The spacing, which I talked a bit about earlier, highlighted it in gray. So you can see that there's a different spacing here in YML. So it's very important that you keep the spacing. The most important thing is that the spacing is the same throughout the array or dictionary. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that smoothie and water, let's say smoothie had three spaces and water only had two. That wouldn't be valid. But if they both had three spaces, well, that would be valid. And the same counts for all of the other ones. So it's really important that you keep the spacing the same. But if you're not sure, just keep the spacing like I have displayed it here and your code will work. Now let's combine arrays and directories. So you can see here I have an array of drinks where I have a smoothie in that array which has two properties or a dictionary under it where I have calories and price. And the same for meals. I have a burger in meals and then I have calories and price. So if you come from JSON, this would be an array of drinks with a smoothie with two properties called calorie and price. The last thing I want to talk about is comments. So you can define a comment by just doing a hash and then whatever text you want. So this has been a basic look at YAML. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye.